Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are continuing with Resident Evil the board game. We are venturing further down into the depths of the Aqua Ring to Aqua Ring B. As you can also see, we are about to fight Neptune. Oh, ow. About to fight Neptune. Uh, before I read the scenario introduction, I'm just going to do characters. We are planning with, pl pl planning, planning with Kenneth. Planning with Kenneth. He's using his handgun. He's got a red green herb mix. Uh, he's got his master of knifing knife. We're using Chris. He has his handgun, a first aid spray, the grenade launcher, and a dagger. We're using Wesker, who I have finally painted up. That video will have gone up before this video. <laughs> he's using his handgun. He's got a handgun bullets and a dagger. We have Richard with his shotgun, a handgun, and a green herb. That's literally all the healing I have. <laughs> the rest are two blue herbs. Okay, on to the scenario introduction. I don't usually do these for scenarios, but I like to do them for bosses. The water is far deeper at the bottom level, risen to your waist and forcing you to slowly wade. Here and there, you see a raised platform that will allow you to step above the water line for a moment, but nothing more than a couple of meters long. Most end in sheared and jagged metal, torn into pieces by some unknown creature you'd rather not find. Suddenly, movement catches your eye, as a large fin breaks the surface of the water, gliding towards you. As it draws closer, you feel fear quickly rush up and take hold. An immersive, sh uh, sorry, an immense shark, far larger than seems possible, races through the water towards you. Its huge maw opening like a bottomless chasm, swallow you whole. And to quote Leon from the Resident Evil 4 remake, You think you can swallow me whole, huh? Yes, a terrible impersonation, but uh, let, let's move on. I'll put the book down before reading the uh, objectives. <laughs> In this scenario, the characters must kill Neptune. If Neptune is killed, the players successfully complete the scenario. At the start of this scenario, shuffle two feeding frenzy, two drag below, two gnashing teeth, and undertow, and Whirlpool behavior cards together, then place them face down to create Neptune's behavior deck. Place the remaining behavior cards to the side as they will be needed during the encounter. Which I've already done. There's the deck all shuffled ready. And da -da 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 -da. special rules open area. During this scenario, all tiles are considered linked. Models can move freely between tiles without using doors or archways and ignore walls when determining line of sight. Neptune can be placed within, with its base sitting across a wall that connects two tiles together. Electrify. A character in the same square as a crest token can spend an action to place the matching puzzle card face up on the puzzle track with five wound, wound tokens on it. Then shuffle the Neptune behavior card with the matching symbol on it into the deck. At the end of each character's turn, discard a wound token from each puzzle card. If the final token on the card is removed, remove the tile with the matching crest token from the playing area. If any characters are on the tile, the players fail the scenario. If Neptune is on the tile, Place it in the starting position, shown on the brief opposite, which is where it's currently sat now on the board. Stranded. If a tile ceases to be connected to the aqua, ac sorry, the aqua ring, remove it from the playing area. If any characters are on the tile, those remove the player's foul scenario. Neptune, it's basically just saying what it's just said. Electrocution. If, if each crest token has been removed and Neptune is on the aqua ring tile, a character in the same square as the objective token can spend an action to kill Neptune. Uh, standalone, we don't do that, so we're doing the campaign. After completing this scenario, reduce the mansion danger level by three. That's actually nice because we are one away from red. And search the tension deck for car for the three eight, number 18 cards and remove them from the game. Then add the guardhouse B scenario card to the map. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's uh, let's begin. So we're going to start off with Kenneth. Also, sorry, I forgot to mention. Um, is it say? Oh, it's on Neptune's um, behavior card. Um, at the beginning of each character's turn, set the health dial to three. Sorry, that's a bit out of focus, I believe. No, it's not working for me. There we go, okay. At the beginning of each character's turn, set the health dial to three. Neptune can't be killed by reducing the dial to zero. At the start of each, uh, each tension phase, Neptune moves a number of squares equal to the value of the health dial towards the active character. And Predatory Instinct. If there are two or more characters that are the closest to Neptune when it moves or attacks, choose the character with the lowest health as Neptune's target. Okay. Put that there. 
There's the starting deck, there's the health doll. These these are already all flipped up, so we'll just put health tokens on those when required. Okay, so Kenneth is gonna go first. Um uh, it's, it might be wise to try and like reduce his health a little bit because he's gonna move three spaces. He's literally gonna attack anyone, any someone anyway. Um right with Kenneth we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Oh, I need to uh, reposition. Okay, right, Neptune's turn. Uh, Undertow, okay, place Neptune so that part of its base occupies the same square as the next active character. Well, the next active character is uh, Wesker, so I'd imagine it can be like that. Occupies the same square as the next active character. That means they'd be pushed, a collision. Okay, place Neptune's place Neptune so that part of its base occupies the same square as the next active character. So yeah, they would get it would be collision because I think so both of those get pushed to there. And we have to perform a small dodge. And if we miss, we take one damage. So let's grab the dodge tray. Pop it there. There we go. Okay, Wes got his medium dodge and Richard needs to perform one too because he got collided. And Richard got a medium and a large. So that's fine. Right then, Wesker's turn. Wesker's gonna go one, two, three. And he's going to activate this. So if I just pop that like that. Placing five. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, that was the end of Wesker's turn. Let me just, uh, at the end of each character's turn, he's got a wound token, okay? So, one gone from there. There's four left, so Wesker needs to get off this one. Okay, now it's Neptune's turn. He's going to gnash his teeth. So he's going to attack Richard, oh, uh, one range away. Uh, Richard needs to perform a small dodge. If he misses, he takes one damage and he's pushed. So, oh, uh, hang on, um, damn it, um, at the start. Sorry, I just need to, um, is it when you activate? Then spend an action to place the matching puzzle card face up and then shuffle, okay, all right. So that was the moon. So we need to get the moon card, which is this one, War Crash. Each character must pass a, a medium dodge evade roll. Characters that fail can't move during their next turn. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I need to reshuffle this. Right, so gnashing teeth. So Richard needs to perform a dodge. There we go. That's a medium dodge. Oh, that was fine. Nice. So it is now. Uh, Chris's turn. Chris is going to go one, two, three, four. Is it? Kenneth, Wesker, Chris, and then Richard. Okay. So that's the end of Chris's turn. And then it's Neptune's turn. Neptune is going to drag below a range of four. Okay. Um, medium dodge is required. And the character hit by this attack is placed in a square adjacent to Neptune. So he's just going to attack Richard because Richard's closest to him anyway. So Richard needs to perform a medium dodge. Or higher. And he didn't. So Richard's taking a wound. That takes him down to one from caution. He was there anyway, so that's fine. And it is now Richard's turn. Richard's going to go... Um, one, Neptune's there, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And it is the end of Richard's turn. Wesker needs to get away from there. Neptune will go for Richard because he's closer, so I think Wesker should be fine. Go one, two, three, four. And then it would be. Um, 
The end of Wesker's turn, that room would disappear. So, wow, okay. It's cutting it close, really, isn't it, with four characters? <laughs> okay. That was the end of Richard's turn. Neptune is going to perform Drag Below. So he's going to attack Richard again. <laughs> yeah, Richard's got the lowest health. Uh, one, two, three, one. So yeah, he will go for Richard. Okay, so Richard needs to perform a medium dodge. He got the medium dodge. Nice. Okay. Oh, right. And then it's back to Kenneth. Kenneth's going to activate this. So I'll just flip that. Sorry, I'll put the wind card there. Get five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, not six, five. Okay. That was one, two, three, four. The end of Kenneth's turn. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. End of Kenneth's turn. And we also need to add in the wind card, which is this one, submerge. Line of sight. A large dodge is required. Wow. Okay. Um, a character hit by this attack is placed in a square adjacent to Mitch. So we are shuffling this in. Okay, I'm just gonna readjust because Kenny's no longer down here. Okay, right. Neptune is going to attack. Who is he going to attack? Feeding Frenzy. One range away. A medium dodge required. And a damage and a push if hit. If a character is hit by this attack, set the health dial to four instead of three during the next character's turn. Wow. Okay. I'm not actually attacking yet, so it's just still at three. And then that was oh, that also disappears on Wesker's card. And he's attacking Richard. So he will. I'm guessing he'll move to there. No attack. If he's there. And I'd imagine he's still adjacent, but there's like a, a cut off there for the wall, so I'll move in there. And then he will attack Richard. Richard needs to perform a medium dodge. I'll pop the dodge straight there. He's got the large. That was lucky. I'll pop those there for the moment. Okay, now it is Wesker's turn. Wesker's going to go one, two, three, four. And we remove that. This tile then gets removed. Looks like it sinks further into the depths of the aqua ring. And then we will remove that. Put that over there next to its token. And I'd imagine this this extra section just oh, they'll grab it here would still be connected until this disappears, and then they would go. So what you could have done was if Wesker was in trouble, I could have moved down this way. But then again, by the time it's Wesker's next turn, that would be gone. So Wesker would die, so yeah. I think this is uh, more tailored to one and two people. But that's fine. I think we'll manage. So that was the end of Wesker's turn. And now Neptune is going to Whirlpool. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot what that tendril icon is. Okay, so range. Just say one. Um, a small dodge, one damage and a push. A character hit by this attack can only perform three actions during the next turn. Okay, let me just check what this symbol is again. Okay, so this symbol does mean everyone in range. So everyone within one range. Um, these two are fine. Chris is fine, he's still over here. So it's just Richard getting attacked again. It makes sense, doesn't it really? Very thematic. Richard gets eaten by Neptune, so... <laughs> So Richard needs to perform a small dodge or higher. Just pop this, I'll just hold this above Wesker and Kenny. Uh, that was a small dodge. That was very close. That was about to roll onto something else. Okay, so Richard got that dodge. That's fine. Um, now it is Chris's turn. Chris is going to activate... Oh, sorry. Um, that was the end of Wesker's turn. So this token does get moved. Chris's turn. He's going to activate this. We're adding five tokens to this, four, five. I just wish 
the, the fiasco I had last scenario with the tokens. I forgot to take them off. Um, I'm just ho I'm just hoping I can remember to do these ones. That was one, two, three, four. Yeah. Or oh, actually, I'll go two, three, four. Okay. Neptune. Okay. That was the end of Chris's turn. So that goes and that goes. Okay, gnashing teeth. Uh, one range away, so we're attacking Richard again. Richard needs to form a small dodge, or he's going to take one damage. There we go. Uh, you got the medium dodge, that's fine. That's great. Okay, so we are back to uh, Richard. Richard is going to go one, two, three. You know what? Um, oh, I don't know. Um, Actually, yeah, three to activate this. And then four to move back to there. So that's uh, three, four, five. And then a Richard's turn, so one gets removed from the star, one gets removed from the wind, and then Neptune is going to attack. Also, one gets removed from there. And Neptune. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't add the star, and I haven't added the sun. So. Okay, the star, damn it. So that's chase time, which is line of sight. A medium dodge is required, or one damage, and Neptune moves into their space. So it performs a collision attack too. And then violent, wow, violent flash. So one range away, small dodge, one damage, one range away, small dodge, one damage, one range away, a medium dodge, one damage, and a push. Wow. So my question is, if I dodge that first attack, does he carry on with the second attack and third attack? Uh, I'd imagine he does. So let's shuffle these in. Okay, here we go. So Neptune is going to chase down the so line of sight, which would be uh, one, two, one, two. It'd be Richard because oh, it'd be Richard or Chris. I can actually choose because they both have the same health. So I'm actually going to choose. Chris. Shall I choose Chris? Yeah, I'll go for Chris. Because now I can start shooting Neptune and try and reduce his health dial. So he's got less movement. So line of sight. Um, he's moving three spaces towards Chris, so we'll move there. Then he'll attack Chris. Chris needs to perform a medium dodge or higher. Okay, right. Uh, that's a small dodge, so Chris is taking a wound, and then Nemesis, uh, no, not Nemesis, um, Neptune pushes into Chris's space, so collision, so Chris needs to perform another dodge, with the, uh, it's a small dodge or higher, for the collision, uh, that's fine, so Chris doesn't take damage from that, he's taking a wound, so Chris is now on caution, and it is back to Kenneth, and also, Wait, is that? No, sorry. Kenneth, at the end of Kenneth's turn, this will disappear. So Kenneth's going to go at one, two. He's going to attack Neptune with his knife. This might be uh, pointless. No, oh, okay. We knock it down to two. And then he's going to move away to four. Neptune is going to. Sorry, that's the end of Kenneth's turn. So this is now gone. That tile's gone, so I'd imagine these two pieces here are gone too. And then one gets removed from here, one gets removed from there. And then Neptune is going to... Violent Thrash, okay. So he's going to attack Chris. Um, they're both one space away, but Chris has less health than Kenneth. So he's going for Chris. Chris needs to perform. Uh, yeah. right, let's pop this. Here. There we go. So Chris needs to perform a small dodge. He didn't. So he's taking a wound. Chris is on caution. He then has to perform another small dodge. He got two small dodges. That's fine. And then he needs to perform a medium dodge or better. He got the medium dodge. <laughs> okay. So that was fine. 
Jesus. No. It is Wesker's turn. Wesker's gonna stay here. He's gonna shoot. Sorry, start of Wesker's turn, so he goes back up to three. Wesker's going to shoot three bullets. I didn't get the dials, damn it. Okay, so Wesker is going to shoot three bullets. 15 down to 12. And shoot Sharky Boy. Sorry, Sharky Girl. Neptune's a girl. And that is nothing. <laughs> okay, so Wesker's just going to sit in this corner. And then we remove one from here, one from here. Neptune is going to. Feeding Frenzy, so it's going to attack Chris. If the character is hit by this attack, set the health dial to 4 instead of 3 during the next character's turn. Okay, so Chris needs to perform a medium dodge or better. Come on, Chris. He. Oh, that's the. Okay, let me just pick that up. That's a large dodge. That is fine. So, it is uh, Chris's turn. Chris is going to go. One, two, three, four, over here into Wesker's space because Chris is one from danger. And we are removing one from here, so now this tile is gone. Pop this there. That's gone. One from there. That's gone. And then Neptune is going to submerge. So, line of sight. So it would be Kenneth. A character hit by this attack is placed in a square adjacent to Neptune. Kenneth needs to perform a large dodge, or he takes a wound. Here we go. Pop that there, Come on, Kenneth, you've got this. Ooh, a large and a medium. So that's fine. No. It is Kenneth, uh, uh, Kenneth's turn. Richard's turn. Richard is going to go one, two, Three, four. The end of Richard's turn, so that gets discarded. This is now gone. So everything's gone. So now someone can get into this space and we can kill Neptune. Awesome. And that, that's, this is the last card in the behavior deck War Crash. Each character must pass a medium evade roll. Characters that fail can't move during their next turn. So we need to, at least one person. Actually, we need Kenneth to get this dodge. Otherwise, Neptune is going to be feasting. Let's just move that tile up and put the dice tray there. There, there we go. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, who was that? Who was the active character then, Richard? So Richard didn't get his dodge. We'll, we'll work our way backwards. So Chris is next. Chris got the medium dodge. Uh, Wesker. Wesker got the large and the medium. And then Kenneth. Kenneth got a small dodge, so Kenneth isn't moving. <laughs> okay, right. So we need to shuffle this behavior deck back up. Kenneth can't move. Move? Kenneth can't move. Smooth move. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use all of Kenneth's actions to. Attack Neptune with the knife, that's uh, a hit, so that goes down to two. That's a push, that does nothing. That's a hit, so that goes down to one. And that's another hit, so Neptune isn't moving at all. Here we go, right, drag below. So, he's attacking Kenneth, uh, and he, he, Kenneth needs to form a medium dodge, or he's taking a wound, and a character hit by this attack is placed in the same, sorry, in a square adjacent to Neptune. Okay, right. Oh, that was a medium dodge right at the back. Oh, the camera can't see it. Hang on. There we go. Okay, Kenneth got his dodge. Richard got taken out. Um, and Kenneth did. There we go. Okay, right. It is now Wesker's turn. Wesker's going to go one, two, spend an action. We are frying Neptune. <laughs> Neptune is dead. Hell yeah! The, to be fair, I actually really enjoyed that. That was very. That was a very clever design for the level, with just all the tiles linked. 
really enjoyed that. So Neptune is dead. Right, the rewards are reducing the danger level by three. We were one away from red, so one, two, three. We are now one, two, three, four away from red. Okay. That's actually very good for us because we don't want to lose any more for um, uh, yeah, all clear cards. Okay, and that was uh, taking three 18, number 18 cards from the tension deck. That's from the depths. Uh, from the depths again. Where are you from the depths? Because Neptune is dead. Neptune is Dunzoed. So they go back into the expansion box. I'll do that afterwards. Right, um, so that's, that's another quick one. Uh, thank you for watching everyone. If you did enjoy the video, please let me know in the comments. If you'd be as kind as to leave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from myself, uh, why not subscribe? It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing. And it boosts up those numbers. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything for this video. So, uh, take care. And I will see everyone for the next video. Bye for now.